Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Savita. I have not been able to post videos for a while since we were in the process of relocating our home. Now we are settling down in our new place slowly and I have resumed my projects. Before moving into this house, I have flipped a cabinet into a puja mandir and I made square holes for the bells on the doors. So in today's video, we will see how to convert a normal dresser armor cabinet into a puja mandir from start to finish and the techniques that I have used to make the square holes. Hope this video will be interesting for you and gives you some ideas and tips. Now let's go into the video. When the customer approached me with their specifications, I forwarded them some links from Facebook marketplace. They then purchased this cabinet based on their budget and dropped it in my garage. They wanted all the drawers and the shelves removed and a step inside the space created. I removed the drawers but since the shelf is not removable, I could only remove the vertical partitions. The customer also asked for square holes to be cut along the trims on the doors. I was initially hesitant but later decided to accept and give it a try. To start with, I have removed the vertical partitions on the shelf and all the drawers. The customer has also asked me to replace a thin cardboard back panel with thick plywood. I have detached the back panel and cut plywood matching the same measurement. Before attaching the new plywood back panel, I will work on the base and the step inside the cabinet as the back open provides for easy access. I have attached the baseboard using wood glue, fastened a clamp and allowed it to dry. For the step, I cut a pair of 5 inch by 6 inch plywood for the sides and glued it to the sides of the cabinet. Then placed a ply over the side pieces and attached it using screws. I have also attached a plywood in front to make a step like structure. Once the step is completed, I will attach some decorated trims to give a finished and elegant look. Now it is time to cover the back. I have cut the plywood to the needed measurement and attached to the back side of the cabinet using screws. Now adding some trims on the steps to give a finished and an elegant look. I have detached the doors to make the cut along each trims to make the square hole. If I had a reciprocating saw tool, it would have been easier to make this cut. Since I don't have the right tool, I drilled 4 holes on each corner of the small square using a drilling bit. Then using a jigsaw, I made a cut along the trims. But here I faced a problem. Since this door is made of plywood, the bottom portion of the ply chips out when I drill the hole. This will ruin the whole door since it will need many holes to complete this cut. To overcome this, I have used masking tape and covered the back portion of the door and started with a small drill bit. Once the small hole is drilled, I then use the bigger drill bit. After that, I am using the jigsaw to cut square holes. Once the cutting work is complete, I have removed the masking tape. Now you can see the clean square cuts. I later sanded all the edges to a smooth finish. 
but since this is plywood i could see a lot of gaps and that needed to be filled with wood filler once the filling and sanding is done i have attached the door back to the cabinet and it is time to paint it the customer has asked to paint it in gold and white combination since i have made many videos previously using white and gold i have skipped showing the painting again in this video if you would still like to watch i have provided the link in the description i have also attached a two level gopuram to make a perfect puja mandir the video for making this gopuram is also in the description once the painting work is complete the cabinet appears finished and beautiful it was very satisfying to see the transition from the raw appearance to the finished look the gopuram the two doors with square holes the hanging brass bells the golden mandala art and the serial led lights all adds beauty to this cabinet and give a very traditional and divine look to this home temple hope this video gives you some idea to build your own home temple please leave your comments and suggestion and please subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon to watch future videos from my channel